Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lauren. Today I have a brand new what I eat in a day on the WW plan to share with you. Today I'm doing a 23 point day, sharing some easy, quick, and delicious meals that are gonna keep you full even when they're lower point or lower calorie while you're on a health journey. These are gonna be easy meals to work into your day, whether you're someone who gets only 23 points a day on the WW plan, which is the lowest end of daily points you can usually get on the program, or if you're someone like me, typically daily I get 36 points a day. My sidekick, one-year-old Nora, is next to me eating her breakfast. We just dropped off my older daughter, Lila, at kindergarten. We have a busy day today. I have a lot to do, mostly just like around the house kind of stuff, which those are days that sometimes it's hardest for me to eat well, just because I'm busy, I'm doing stuff, and all of a sudden I've drank coffee in the morning and realized at two o'clock when I have to go pick up my daughter from school, I haven't eaten anything all day. So I'm gonna do good about eating throughout the day some small meals to keep me going, keep my protein up all day, but also be productive and get my stuff done. So let's grab some coffee and some breakfast to get rolling. It's a busy day, but follow along with what I eat and how I stay on plan on these crazy days as a stay-at-home mom of two. Banana thief. You already ate your own. You ate a whole banana already. That's mama's. She says not anymore. Two point breakfast. Hey guys, so we took a little cleaning break. Um, I got the laundry put away, the floors swept, some organization done. Um, I'm gonna wait until Nora goes down for her nap this afternoon to like deep clean the bathrooms and the floors. Sorry, I'm all over the place. Pushing a stroller with one hand and holding the dog <laughs> in the same hand. So um, yeah, we got a bunch of stuff done this morning though while Nora played in the playroom. But we needed to take a break, get outside. It is beautiful out. I love this time of year in Georgia. It is like 78 and sunny. It's not humid. It was raining all last week. So the humidity has kind of eased a bit. Um, um, but it's just gorgeous outside so we're walking today millie girl is happy to be on a walk she was ready to get outside and play and then nora is having her snack while we walk are you having a snack well you're holding cups onward um we're gonna get about a half hour walk in here today we're gonna do a big loop in our neighborhood and then when we get back it'll be time for me to make nora lunch and yeah on with our day so nora is set up having some lunch and I am actually having a snack. Breakfast is pretty late this morning, so I am hungry already, even though it's only like 10.30. This is when Nora has her lunch because she goes down for a nap at 11. And the lunch I have in mind today, I'm actually gonna do a little bit of meal prep where I make a larger batch, so I have some lunches ready to go for the next couple days. So to tide me over until I have time to do that, I'm having a little turkey wrap. So this is just a low carb tortilla. It's a one point tortilla. I have one ounce of deli turkey on there, as well as some Dijon mustard for zero points, banana peppers for zero points, and some lettuce. This is a super simple little snack, but it packs a lot of flavor with the banana peppers and the mustard in there. And it comes out to only two points on the WW plan. Today for lunch, I'm gonna be making a delicious quinoa grain bowl with roasted broccoli and chickpeas, some smoky bacon, soft boiled eggs, and a bit of red onion. First things first, I'm setting my oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit to let that preheat. And then I've prepped a baking sheet with a piece of parchment paper. Did you know that you can roast frozen broccoli and it's not gonna come out a steamed mushy mess. It's gonna be nice and crunchy and roasted just like if you do it in the air fryer or from raw in the oven. So I have one frozen bag of broccoli florets and I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle this over my parchment. 
I'm gonna spread them out so they're not on top of each other. And the key to make frozen broccoli get nice and crispy and roasted um, is to make sure you actually don't put any sort of oil or seasoning or anything on it before putting it in the oven. Oils and things like that can trap the moisture into the frozen broccoli and you want all of the water that's in frozen broccoli to kind of evaporate and steam off in the oven so that as it cooks down, it gets that nice crispy roasted flavor and texture. So that's gonna go into the oven at 400 just until it starts to crisp up. While that gets going, I have two cups of water and then I'm just gonna add a little tablespoon of this chicken bouillon base to make some stock in my pot. Then I'm adding in one cup of white quinoa. Whenever you have the option to cook your grains in a broth or stock, um, instead of just plain water, whether it's rice or quinoa or couscous, I always prefer to cook it in stock if I can. It adds so much flavor, a really great moist texture, and you don't even have to add any butter or anything else like that afterwards. It's just delicious. All right, so I put that all to mix together, and then I'm gonna let this heat up on a medium heat until it comes to a boil simmer. Pop the lid on, turn it down to low, and let it go for about 15 minutes until all of the broth is absorbed into the quinoa and it's nice and cooked through. So fluffy. I let the broccoli get a bit of a head start while I got the quinoa going, but now I'm also going to add half a can of rinsed and drained really well chickpeas right to the pan because we're gonna get these roasted too. Again, skip the oil so they get nice and toasty. And back in the oven, these are probably gonna take about 15 minutes. Look at how crispy and crunchy they got. I'm crisping up four slices of hardwood smoked bacon in a pan. In this pan, I just have about an inch and a half to two inches of water. They should go almost halfway up the side of your egg. I put two eggs in. The water is already at a simmer on like a medium heat. And then this is gonna cook covered for about seven to eight minutes. That's gonna be the perfect like medium, more of a medium jammy boiled egg, which is what I'm going for, not completely soft boiled. So six minutes is usually a soft boil with a really runny yolk for me. So I'm going for more of a medium jammy egg, which is gonna be about seven or eight minutes boiling. And then we're gonna pop it in an ice bath to cool off. We'll peel them and then slice them and lay them over the top of our green bowl salads. Dicing up a quarter of a raw red onion. Into our quinoa goes our raw red onion. We dump in our broccoli and chickpeas. Woo! Looking amazing already. Once we have a good mix on our quinoa and veggies, go ahead and add whatever dressing you prefer. Um, I'm gonna use this really easy Boathouse Farms Creamy Caesar. This is super low point, low calorie, and obviously really easy, but this would also be really good with a balsamic or like a homemade honey mustard vinaigrette. So whatever your preference, put in some of that. I'm also gonna do a little bit of this salt, pepper, and garlic blend from Kinder's. My dressing is all mixed in. And then obviously this is definitely more than one serving of what I would want to eat for lunch. But I always say if I'm taking the time to cook and make something, double it and triple it and feed myself later. So kind of the one for now, one for later ideology. This I'm actually gonna split into three servings. So I have my lunch prepped for the next three days. Because I saw this recipe was making way more than one portion, I went ahead and actually soft boiled four eggs. And then we still have just the four pieces of bacon, which I crumbled. And I'm just gonna take a portion um, on top of my bowl now, and then I'm gonna store these separately. And I will add those at the time of eating with the other two portions. And a beautiful jammy egg on top. Oh, it looks and smells so delicious. Hey guys, so it's a bit later. I got Lila picked up from school. Um, I actually took the kids to the park for a little while since it was so nice out. We're home now, the kids are starting to get hungry. So I'm gonna get dinner started while they're playing here in the living room. It's a quick and simple night. I've been cleaning and organizing all day. So an easy dinner night it is. As a mom on a health journey, I've had to also figure out how to work in easy kid favorite classics that I'm serving to my family into my own daily meal plan as well. Tonight for dinner,
dinner, I'm making my kids Velveeta shells and cheese. It's an easy dinner night. Um, I'm tossing in a bag of steamed broccoli. And this is what they're having for dinner tonight with like some applesauce on the side. Josh won't be home for a little while yet. So I went ahead and popped the leftover mac and cheese in a container. He and I are going to eat some of the mac and cheese, but instead of making that my big main meal, which will pack a ton of points and calories and put me over for the day, I'm gonna make that one of our side dishes. I'm gonna weigh out on my food scale, two ounces of the mac and cheese. Make sure when weighing it, you're only grabbing the noodles because the weight of the broccoli will count towards the two ounces, but broccoli is a zero point food, just like we had in our grain bowl today. So I pulled out two ounces of the mac and cheese noodles. I'll mix in however much of the broccoli I want. And then I'm also gonna be making up a second vegetable for a side, some ranch seasoned air fryer carrots, which are one of our favorite easy and quick vegetable side dishes. And I'm also air frying up just some chicken breast that's well seasoned. For the carrots, in, they go to the air fryer, make them extra cute and fancy by getting the little rainbow baby ones, a spritz of avocado oil, and then I'm using this ranch seasoning from Trader Joe's, but you can use the packet of ranch. Um, I'm just going in with about a teaspoon to cover them all. Yum. And also a little sprinkle of a salt, pepper, and garlic blend. Just a little. Good shake. And these are going into the air fryer. 400 for about 10 minutes. And the chicken is just gonna be a really simple chicken breast. This was a large one that I filleted into two thin fillets. Um, I'm gonna add the salt, pepper, garlic blend, same one from the carrots, and this Kinder's wood-fired garlic seasoning. You can get this at pretty much any grocery store. I get the bigger size of the Kinder's by going to Costco. It makes chicken so delicious. You get that really yummy kind of like wood-fired from the grill flavor. Even if you aren't using your grill that night, we are just simply gonna air fry it, but it's still gonna have that great smoky flavor from this seasoning. These seasonings are sugar-free, so they come in at zero points on the WW plan, all while packing a ton of flavor. Season both sides generously. And when the carrots are done, in goes the chicken. These thin cut breast fillets will need about 16 minutes at 400 degrees. All right, so here's my dinner. It comes to five points on the WW plan, and the only points is for the two ounces of mac and cheese, the noodles only, the broccoli is zero, the carrots with ranch seasoning is zero, and my seasoned chicken breast is zero from the air fryer. All right, guys, so that brings me to my 23 points for the day. Who says you can't have easy, simple meals that keep you on track that are low point, low calorie, still able to make some of those family faves. I just suggested it to be a side dish along with some healthy main dish options with chicken breasts and lots of veggies to keep me full. Thank you guys so much for watching what I ate today on my 23 point day on WW. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed today's video. Please subscribe if you want to keep following along my health journey and see more videos like this. And until next time, bye. bye.